Well, Kurt, many people are divided on this issue. And despite an overwhelming amount of people tonight speaking out against the plan, City Council moved forward voting six to one in, in support of the project as they figure out other ways to keep ramps open. The traffic that you're seeing coming up here is not VA traffic. It's traffic that's cutting through. Sheila Elliott says traffic at the Hampton VA Hospital heading toward the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel gets backed up for miles. She represents medical professionals as the union president for the Hampton VA and says the workers there do not believe closing that nearby eastbound Mallory Street ramp is the answer. I don't know of anyone at this facility that wants this temporary gate closure. Nobody. But that proposal is now moving forward. The city council voting Wednesday to approve the plan to install gates, closing the eastbound exits at Mallory Street and Settlers Landing Road at rush hour from 3 to 6 p.m. Mayor Donnie Tuck saying they don't have any other option at this point and can reconsider the decision based on pilot programs. We are trying to, as best we can, work with a situation that really is untenable. It, it just cannot sustain itself as it currently is. It's a public safety matter. They say it'll help ease traffic flow and cut back on the number of drivers taking shortcuts through side streets in the downtown Hampton and Phoebus areas, causing traffic jams and headaches for many business owners. Mellon Street, Mallory, Hope Street, Curry, all the side roads get completely shut down, you know, gridlocked. Amy Smith owns Honey House Boutique in the heart of Phoebus. She supports the ramp closures, saying the snarled traffic near the Mallory Street exit causes her to lose customers. They're not going to come here and say, oh, look, there's a boutique. I've been sitting in traffic for 45 minutes. Let me go shop. They're ready to get home. But several others at the public hearing argue closures would only bring the traffic nightmare to another neighborhood and add up to 45 minutes to some commutes. Sheila Elliott says there has to be a better solution for staff and veterans they serve. I feel like it was very short-sighted the way this was done. I guess I may as well say irresponsible to put something out that really has not been studied and have our veterans afraid that they're going to get caught up in traffic and can't get back home in a timely manner. Now, those gates will most likely go up starting early next year and stay in place during those peak times until the HRBT expansion project wraps up in 2025. Now, this plan, of course, is all dependent on approval from the Federal Highway Administration. We're live in Hampton. Antoinette Delbell, News 3.